All right, so check this out. Here I am at Bates College, directly across the street is the Lewiston Middle School, and I just wanted to check it out. I just wanted to see if there's like any signs that said anything about, you know, people charging their cars here, if if this required a credit card or or anything like that. But to my surprise, I I mean, I just went ahead and I I plugged it in and it started charging. I, I just couldn't I couldn't believe it. I was like, seriously? There, no no credit card, no no nothing. Is this just like are we just really really trying to promote electric vehicles? I mean, that, it looks to be the case, but I am currently plugged in right now, and <laughs> to my surprise, now this is a level two. I've I have not done a level two before. I've only done level one and then the DC fast charging last night. But you can see right now, I am 43% charged, and it is charging because up here, my uh, LEDs are blinking. So, <laughs> so that's cool. And if I scroll through, oh look, 44. It just went from 43 to 44, and my miles continue to go up. If I hit the uh, button over here, you can see, oh where is it? Right here. So I'm on a 240 right now, and I just figured this out. I just I didn't even know what this screen was all about, but it, I realize what it is now. It's telling me it's going to take five and a half hours to charge from from where I'm at right now, which is uh, less than 50 percent, 44 percent right there. I it's going to take me five and a half hours to charge the car. So I mean, whoa! Thank you, Bates. <laughs> I really appreciate it. So here I am, I'm back at Bates College. It's been a couple of hours. I think I plugged in around 2.30. So 3.30, 4.35, so three hours. I've been here for three hours. Uh, I haven't been here, I actually, I walked home and I just walked back and I'm ready to unplug. But to my surprise, I thought it was gonna take five hours. It's only been three hours and I'm at 98% charged with 137 available miles on the vehicle. God, I love new cars. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to uh, unplug here. Oh, and in the time that I've uh, been gone, someone else came and plugged in their car. So here's a Chevrolet Vault with a V. <laughs> so they're plugged in. So yeah, I, I'm definitely going to uh, unplug here so I can make it available for someone else who needs it. But I am practically fully charged at this point. So yeah, go Bates. Thank you so much for the free charge. I, I just, I can't believe that. That is unbelievable. I'm going to get a quick shot over here of the uh, vault <laughs> yeah see right over here so unlike uh, my car the vault here is sort of like a hybrid it's uh, got a it, it, it does have a gas engine and it uh, its battery I think can do something like 50 ish miles on a full charge so but my vehicle is 100% pure electric so <laughs> no gas so that's uh that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug here because I'm all done. And I've already unlocked it. Inside the vehicle there's a uh, a lock button. And actually if you're curious about that, let me show you that. I've already uh turned it off, but I'll turn it back on real quick. So if I push this down, it's locked. So someone can't just come by and unplug it on me. You can also use a uh a padlock, which I have right here, okay? And you just put it through the uh, hole. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but there's a hole right there. So you can put a padlock on there so somebody doesn't come and push the button and take it out on you. But between the car holding onto it and and that lock, and let me see here. Okay, I unlocked it, yep. All right, so all I have to do now is just, and you can see because it's at 98%, it's still charging. But as soon as I push the button down, that stops the charging so it's not charging anymore and I can unplug it and it was just beeping letting me know that it's uh, ready <laughs> so there we go I'm gonna uh, wrap up this cord and put it back in its holster and I'm good to go again thank thank you so much Bates